Yeah, so here we are in Duluth, Minnesota, and we came up to check out the Larka Duluth project, which is actually the forerunner airplane of the Tony Janus airplane. We're trying to recreate uh, his flight on New Year's Day 2014. The airplane that they're building uh, that became the Tony Janus airplane was flown during the summer up here in Duluth in 1913. So the, these guys have to fly their airplane uh, six months before we do. So we came up to check on their progress. We've been uh, sharing research and information and uh, we've got uh, different slightly different airplanes that we're building with slightly different purposes. So let's go check out what the guys are doing. Hey, hey, we found it. Man, this is cool. I love the uh, shoreline, all the flow oh, planes. We got, we got water everywhere. Good, good, good. Come on in. Yeah, let's see what you, uh, see what you got going. Whoa. Hey, Ken, they're ahead of us. <laughs> Oh my God! You're way further along than I thought than I thought you were. Now, for some reason, I I was thinking I knew our airplane ended up being green, sea foam green or something. Where that came but from. I thought, but I thought, I thought yours was like uh, just a natural. I mean, do you know that yours was painted? Yes. Oh, okay. There's a Duluth article describing the airplane when it got to Duluth, and they, they called it Vivid Green. Oh, really? In the article. And that's huh. our interpretation of Vivid Green. I'll be darned. And, you know, there are a lot of boats in this area. I think Vivid area. Green is probably subjective. <laughs> well, there, oh, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of what you'd see on the on yeah. a hull of a wooden, old wooden boat. Yeah, absolutely. That's a pretty popular yeah, yeah, yeah. color back then, huh. so we thought, well. Oh, man, so maybe. here's the wings. Yeah. So, so which of these panels are you going to give us? <laughs> of D, of D. Yeah, unfortunately, we added some. I don't know, you got, so you guys nailed it. Yeah. And is this just a fabric take? Or? It's, it's uh, actually, it's a, a woven, fiberglass it's a woven tape. tape. Right, okay, so it's a cotton tape. The, the, the original was, was probably uh, fabric that was folded like an envelope. You know, three, you know, it's probably folded over uh -huh. and nailed. 8,000 nails to put in. We have 2,000 put in so far. Oh my gosh. <laughs> huh. I mean, you guys, you guys went ahead and make this kind of a normal airflow. Yeah. Ours is flat right yep. here. Yep. I've but, got yours drawn actually. <laughs> but your, but your uh, spar sizes here and here are the same as ours. The, I, I think yeah, they are. The yeah, part, I think yeah. we right. talked back and forth a uh -huh. couple of times on that, and I think we're we're pretty close. I've got uh, a couple of ribs over here. Okay, so this is the way you guys did your ribs. It's it's kind of a copy of the Florida uh, replica. Right. But it's it's much lighter than theirs. Theirs right. is theirs is uh, this is a exact copy of theirs. And when you feel oh, so this is like an inner one. Just look at the weight difference between them. God damn! I tell you what, this is heavier than our ribs. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no we, doubt that that we, the Saint we Peter plane is forty-eight off pounds off of what the Saint Petersburg airplane is. Just in the ribs. Just in the ribs. Okay, but now wait a second. You say lapped off forty-eight pounds. That yeah. is minus the extra t four ten-foot, five-foot panels. Just looking at the ribs alone. Oh, just if ribs we, alone. If we built them the way they did, right? This this is a, a perfect copy of theirs. Right. Yeah. Uh, that, that the difference really between weird. that rib and this rib okay. on our airplane Times is forty-eight as many pounds. ribs. As and you guys, it's it's even more. Yeah, because we got, got another more. ten feet. Yeah, ten foot of wingspan. Yeah, you got uh, six. Okay, now what's going on with the airflow shape? That's right out of uh, well. This one is right off of the dimensions I think that you used that we found at uh, Air and Space. Mm -hmm. hmm. It, although when we mapped it out, it didn't work. You know, you you have you ran into the same problem. I'm keenly aware of the. <laughs> yeah. the oh, we just smoothed it out. The yeah. big difference between. So we got the high lift wing. Uh, actually, you're about a half inch less camber. Oh really? But that's probably very accurate. There's a the, except for the rib. Yeah. Rib yeah. style. That's a, I mean, that's almost the same except for the rib style. Yeah. 
Of course, you, you've got, uh, you of got course, it, yeah, it's a little different. we had to use gussets because we didn't use this type of rib style, so. Here's, here's, your, here's your rib right here. Yeah, yeah, with the, the flat. That's yeah. Yours. So there's, if you, if you angle this down in line right. here, you gain a, a if you were to measure the camber, you know, you'd gain just a tiny bit. I see. So that's what you're, that's how you're saying you gain some right. camber. Yeah, the, 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 I see. This, this is the same shape. Now, this fabric line just about eliminates anything that, as far as airflow goes, yeah. you, you aren't going to have any problems there because yeah. the only place that it squeezes down is where your metal fittings are. Right. Right. What happened on the Lark of Duluth here, this was the basis of the Tony Janus airplane, and they took it back to the factory in St. Louis after they flew in the summer of 1913, and they rebuilt it, and this panel right here that says, of do, was actually on the Tony Janus airplane. So we don't, hit, this says Lark of Duluth, and there's, there's uh, is there something on the bottom? No, just, there's nothing on the bottom. But they ended up, uh, either recovering the panels or or whatever but this panel right here of du is actually on the tony janice airplane and there's no other writing so we're going to recreate it that yeah so this is the actual tony janice airplane it's got the longer wings and you can actually see this little extra panel they put in there that says of du on there that was actually out of this airplane here that we're looking at so pretty cool I'm anxious to get started on the call. Yeah, no I mean, it, actually, this is inspiring to a certain degree. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Hey, Mark, thanks for all your hospitality and uh, good luck. Pleased to have Mark. you here, Ken. Mark. You, you guys get uh, you guys get cold this winter. Come down and make fun of our deal. <laughs> <laughs> Pick ours apart. So really cool. What you're doing is awesome and. Uh, I think it's inspiring for Ken well, and myself. it's a two-way street. Two-way street. We yeah. like what you're doing too. Good deal. All right. Then we'll see you guys. Take okay. it easy. Take care. All right. I'm good. All right.